So, welcome back. I'm still with Kun. Um, he's not fallen asleep just yet. No, not yet. He's still awake. So what we're going to do now is we're going to now tell Google and install analytics so we can find out who's coming to our website and also tell Google that we've made it. Now we need to do a couple of little things just before we do that. So I'm just going to go to the dashboard. And first of all I'm going to change the permalinks because right now what we've got, if we go to the website front end, if I go to say the biography, it says page ID equals 21. Yes. Not so pretty. All right. So we're going to go back to dashboard settings and then permalinks. The setting I like to use is category and then name. So you do this one. So it's forward slash percentage sign category percentage sign forward slash post name. And you'll see what that becomes in a minute. So I'm just going to save that. All right. And then if I go back here and I click on biography, it now instantly changes or maybe filmography it now changes to filmography biography uh, these are pages if we go to media this is a category and then on here I can go into the individual one into movie the barber and couldn't you've already got this ready for a nice video and we can have a quick look alright we can see we're in media and then movie barber brilliant Great. yeah good old Charlie Yes. He's a, he's a classic, Go isn't he? Black and white he's Charlie. a classic. Over there. Ouch. So, seeing as this is so good, we need to tell Google about it. So I'm going to go back back here. I'm just going to close that down for now. And then we're going to go to Plugins, Add New. Now, I'm actually surprised they don't include this with, Google, with, uh, with WordPress because it's used so much. Hmm. Google XML. Then some teams have it ready I think some do I haven't seen one yet mm. maybe some do now this is the one that we want now you can always see five stars fair play but you don't know if it's really really good so what we're gonna do is put our mouse over and see that 2818 people is that a lot? that's a lot alright yeah so we're gonna install now and click OK I mean think about it how many times have you voted? never <laughs> never so 2000 people have actually taken the and they really like it. They must really, really like, like it. it yeah. So activate the plugin. Now we can see under settings XML sitemap. So we can click on that. And then we have to generate it. So we click on right. generate. Takes a little while. Don't have to look into the options? Nope. All these are fine for now. Yeah. You can start to uh, um, change these as your website progresses but we're just the, the right. default settings for this screencast All right. so now if I go to visit the site in a new tab and I do forward slash sitemap XML this is what we need to tell Google about uh-huh uh-huh so we're gonna copy this new tab control and T and Google web master tools all right, let me click on there. Now, what we need to do now is log in. Okay, so now once you've logged in, you'll see um, all the other websites that um, I've got on my system. So we need to add a new one. So we're going to click on Add Site, and I'm just going to put uh, www.thecharliechaplin.com, and then continue. Now the thing is, we need to prove how we own the website. So how do you want to do it? How do we prove that it has to do something with your hosting company? It can be, yeah. You can upload a file. All right. right? Or alternate method, you can change DNS. Ugh. Google Analytics, we don't have yet. So the one I like to do is this one. Add a meta tag. All right. Yeah. You put that in your code. Yeah. And how do I do that? I think you would go to the editor. Yeah. Where's that? Uh, it's in. A Appearance, no, um, oh yes, yes, it is appearance. No, editor. And where am I putting it? I guess in the header or the in footer. In the header? Well, it's a meta tag, so it belongs in the header. Right. So you can put it anywhere you want, but just for simplicity, I'm just going to put it here, and we'll tab that over, and then update file. 
right. Now what that's done is on every single page has now got this meta tag. All right. All right. So if I actually go to the website, let's just delete that for now. This is probably the easiest way to. Uh, yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. yeah. So ro right click view page source and there we are. All right. All right. Good. So if we go back to Webmaster Tools now and verify, we should get a nice tick. Okay. Okay. And that's the kind of tick we like, not the one that sucks your blood. <laughs> All right. So click on continue, and then we can now submit our sitemap. So we've got no details here just yet, but we submit a sitemap. Submit the sitemap and do sitemap.xml. Congratulations! You've just told the whole of the world about your website. Nice. Now it takes a little while, and it'll definitely take a little while for you to pop up in Google, and then through online marketing, that's how you get um, higher. Now, what we need to do is find out how people are finding us and where they're coming from. So we're now going to go to Google Analytics. All right, click on there. Access Analytics. There we go. So again, all, all these are uh, previous projects. So I'm just going to add another one. So I'm going to go to Charlie and enter. Now, if you want to make a, a new one here, you do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top right hand corner. This is the new version. And I'm going to put it under my projects, new web property. And then it's just uh, Charlie Chaplin website example www.thecharliechaplin.com. Right. And we're in Thailand. All right. And then create property. Now, what it's going to give us is the details. So now we need to go into there and then find out the, the code that we're going to put in. So if I click on tracking code, and it will generate this for us, and we copy and paste, where do we put it? Good question. Is it in the header again? It is. It could be in the header. Yeah. I mean, it tells you um, before the the closing head tag, so we can do that. But normally, what they have is in the theme. If I go back here and go to the theme options. Normally, themes have a place where you can put it. All right. All right. So I'm just going to move down to SEO. Okay. All right. And we can put it on the home page meta description if we want. But if I click on integration for this one anyway, add code to the head tag or add code to the um, different places on, on wherever you want it to go. I'm going to put it here. All right. So save. Back to Webmaster Tools and then save. So I'm back on Google Analytics. And what does this script do? It will track all the information about your visitors and stuff yeah, like where that. they come from, how they found you, how long they stayed, where did they go, what system they're using, what language they're using, all these kind of things. So now we've got that, we can go back to the profile and you can see see all the details here. You can set up custom alerts so if lots and lots of people come to your website all of a sudden you can find out. All right. So if we go back to profiles, sorry, by clicking on home, you then get this, the dashboard. All right. All right. So this will take a day at least to start tracking, but that's how we did it. So we'll just refresh. If I go back to um, the main one, so we went to Cal's projects, we added a new one. When we did that, we went to the settings and we went into get the code and then we put that into the actual head tag. I mean, you can go to editor and then put it into header yourself. Yes. Or you can just let your theme do it. All right. All right. So There we are. Charlie Chaplin is live. All right. Yeah. So how do we bring people to it? Um, well, I think now by adding it to Google should help a little bit. But yeah. Maybe we can promote it a little bit. 
you know, fan pages, tweets, Twitter. Right. You know, find. You know, so maybe we can find some uh, Charlie Chaplin blogs. All right. Uh, oh, Charlie Chaplin, the official website. Our main competitor. Yes. How dare you? <laughs> All right, so you can buy books here and stuff like that. Um, and if they could link to us, that would be lovely. I'm not sure they would, though. But you just take part in the community and uh, submit it. And one thing you can do is, if you do um, submit CSS galleries, this is one quick way of, of getting some links. I use this one here, um, the CSSGalleryList.com. You can actually pay to be listed on all these. All right. Yeah, so you just put in the details. Or valuable links. Yeah, and they get, can get some good links. And that's when you end up on, you know, CSS galleries like, uh, we'll try CSS Mania. And then, because we're proud web designers, we want to show off our work. We, what we want to do is just submit it to all those galleries. And it's just one way of kicking, kicking Google and saying, look, this is really good for us. And you can get listed on here. Right. So, congratulations, you just put a website live, Kun. Thank you. Thank you. And if you've got any questions about our courses or you want to learn how to do this yourself, just go to www.webcoursesbangkok.com. Thanks. Bye.